Chief Executive Officer of Tragedy Consulting LLP and today we would be covering a dedicated video about constant maturity spread swaps or constant maturity tragedy spread swaps. In this video we would be covering that how the corporates in United States. Why United States? Because this is the largest market for CMT or CMS swaps. There is a reason to it because there is a technical reason to it. Without having that technical reason this won't be possible. So in this video we would be covering why US. Of course the first largest economy of the globe, the first larger fixed income economy of the globe, the largest bond holding positions, number of hedge funds are there. So why US is turning out to be a center for a constant maturity treasury swap. This would be, would be a video which would let you know that if you would have that then any country example Singapore, Hong Kong, Dubai, London, Frankfurt, uh, Luxembourg any country could be in a better position to have such kind of spread. But before moving further let me give you a small introduction of what this swap stands at. Generally speaking when we price a swap we will either price this at a fixed price or we will price at a floating price. The tendency is that it varies from country to country like if you go to Singapore then majority of the spreads, uh, majority of the swaps are priced at floating prices. While if you go to uh, countries like India then it is more or less a fixed pricing. And secondly here it is more or less controlled by the Reserve Bank of India so nothing much which we have in the hands of the corporate so that is why the swap spread is always pretty high. But that is something which we are not discussing today. But in, when it comes to US, we have a very big fixed income market. Now let's take a small example. American GDP is roughly 15 trillion dollars. On the contrary, the fixed income market of US is approximately 25 trillion dollars. And this is the largest fixed income market we have, we have across the globe. You just name the instrument and you will get to know that this instrument you will find in the US. You just name it and you will get that instrument in the US. And one of the finest instruments which we have in US is constant maturity treasury swaps, constant maturity treasury spread swaps and tips which is treasury inflation protected securities. In India this is known as CPI index bonds but that is a failure. After Raghuram Rajan nobody went with CPI index bond. In fact within Raghuram Rajan also during the era of Raghuram Rajan nobody went for CPI index bond. Here we are taking a small example of how the largest oil company of the US which is ExxonMobil which used to have 400 billion dollar of valuation but now oil has reduced so the valuation has went down. How the largest oil company is uh, basically you know uh, basically uh, take a hedge or take a first investment position then take a hedge position. So here we assume a company called ExxonMobil which is the largest oil company then we assume the amount which is 10 billion dollar which is not a small amount we assume the rate as USD swaps plus 150 basis point generally at USD swaps you will get a quote like LIBOR or maybe 3.5 percent or maybe something else at place of USD swaps somebody somebody might have turned uh, USD as well so that would also be the case but remember we are discussing constant maturity spread swaps we are not here discussing constant maturity treasury swap. Remember the difference between the two. In a constant maturity treasury swap, the indicators is of treasury indicators. So here we need USD, United States Treasury, the prime rate, the federal fund rates and other. While on the other hand, constant maturity spread, constant maturity swaps, you could have any other indicator. Here you can take government indicator, here you can also take non-government indicator. So there is no compulsion that you have to have a government indicator in place. So there is no compulsion like that. But here you have a compulsion that you have to have a government indicator in place. So here we are taking an example constant maturity swap, spread swaps. So the tenure which we are considering is 10 years. The payout which we are considering is yearly. Generally in case of a long spreads the payout is quarterly but for a sake of simplification we are we are keeping this as a yearly. So what exactly would happen? Who all would be the investors? Investors are corporate, I bankers, foreign institutional investors, qualified institutional buyers, central banks, you know private placement platforms, commodity trading advisors, uh, hedge fund traders, sorry high frequency traders and platform players. 
these all are the important and generally they keep participating which is private placement platform commodity trading advisor high frequency traders and platform players now the cost which they do have like i right here which is exxon mobil right here exxon mobil is having a cost which is usd swaps plus 150 basis point this is known as qsd so the quality spread differential is 150 basis point of course like i earlier told you but we are not going to make a video on that that's for sure you can also hatch this 150 basis point using a technique which is known as spread sensitive sensitivity swaps which is also known as sss so you can also hatch that using sss but nonetheless in exxon mobil case what are we doing is that in exxon mobil case what exactly we are doing in that case we are basically uh, taking up our position here usd swap exxon mobil is an american company the funding which has been taken is also in dollars so the functional currency is in dollars but uh, the, the the borrowing is also in dollars so the revaluation would never be an impact for exxon mobil at least in that sense so this would be a working capital law less just, just like india an indian company will take a loan in indian rupee so this would be a working capital loan right but the issue with the exxon mobil is that sitting today the one year swap rate dollar swap rate is roughly trading at one sorry my mistake is trading at 1.35 percent if you see the last five years libor effective 2014 to 2017 right uh, if my mistake three years libor uh sorry last last 12 years 2012 to 2017 you will get to know that the one year libor was 0.75 percent now it is 1.77 percent which effectively meant that there is an increase of roughly 100 basis point or one percent in libor and we all know that trump is going to uh, trump is going to rise the rate and if trump is going to rise the rate then of course this one year swap will move up now the issue which Exxon Mobil would be having is that they are raising the money at floating rate and the floating rate is 1.35% plus 1.5% which is roughly 2.85%. Now we all understand that uh, all the floating indexes are computed in advance payable in arrears. So this payment the, at the end of the first year payment would be decided today. So when you are starting the swap, example 1st January, assuming today is 1st January. So 1st January swap rate, assuming this is 1.35% that has to be calculated and that has to be paid on 31st of December. So swaps are always computed in advance but payable in arrears. So for the second year, uh, the swap whatever on 31st December or 1st of January, suppose the rate would be 1.4, right? and uh, if that would be the rate so it would be 1.4 plus 1.5 which is roughly 2.9 so hence it, it would move on so one year they would be might be flat one year it would be higher and one year it would be lower now in this the issue is that it is not a fixed rate of course this is a floating rate of course but this is a different kind of floating rate what is that is different kind of floating rate is in this in this you are linked with a floating rate index and that floating rate index is usd swaps across the globe the dollar irs are computing using usd swaps across the globe like if you have reuters you just type usd irs you will get their value simple if you have bloomberg then the sign would be different right now the point of contention is if they would have linked this with some other floating index example fed fund rates prime rate uh let me take it uh, uh ust united states treasury then this would be known as constant maturity treasury swaps this would be known as constant maturity treasury swap but since none of the indexes were linked 
a global dollar index has been linked hence for this is known as constant maturity spread swaps of course that is very simple that and have been discussed uh, how to hedge that it is a floating index so exxon mobil one side would continue to pay usd swap rate plus 1.5 percent other side the bank would pay the usd swap rate so swap rate swap rate stands cancelled so the net is 1.5 percent and bank will give some fixed index so that fixed index could be any any fixed index bank can be used you know it could have you could have number of fixed indexes so the final rate would be fixed index plus 1.5 percent example if one of the fixed index you if one of the fixed indexes you would like to take the bank could freeze usd swap itself example uh, suppose uh, they wanted to hedge it with uh, goldman sachs right so goldman sachs will say that currently usd is trading at us uh, this uh, usd swaps is trading 1.3 percent so let me fix it right fix it in the sense they will say let's agree to a 50 basis point as a spread right plus minus walls so 1.35 plus 50 basis point 0.5 which is uh, 1.85 percent 1.85 plus 1.5 percent so total 3.35 percent would be the cost hedging is not a big issue as far as such kind of swaps are concerned but the purpose of the topic is to let you know that how the how constant maturity spread swap exists and how they differ from constant maturity tragedy swap this is the purpose of this video and as you very well understand that our fixed income platform is on the way and in this fixed income platform there would be a dedicated valuation desk so and that would be online so there is no phone call whatsapp nothing else is required so whenever you have any questions you can come to us in that and we would continue to produce a lot of such videos about uh, a variety of the kind of swaps we have in the market in case you have any question my website is very clear www.tragedyconsulting.in my mobile is 9899242978 while my Skype ID is Rahul5327 my email is rahul.magan at the rate treasuryconsulting.in We would like to thank you very much and in case you have any query do contact us. Thank you and don't forget we have already <laughs> launched our fixed our fraud chapter. Another video is on the fraud chapter and also we have today launched high frequency trading for treasury consulting LLP. Thank you and have a wonderful time ahead.